Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Pico Farm, where we do things differently. I'm going to make some bread, uh, but first that lot there has to be tidied away. Now the special thing about this bread is that it's low carb, ketogenic, uh, but if you didn't tell anybody, they seriously wouldn't know. Here's how we make it. I will uh, put the recipe uh, in a link in the text below, as they say. Well, we're going to start off with a great big heaped teaspoon of yeast. And to that, we will need to add lots of things, but there's something we have to get going first. In here, there is a uh, about you know somewhere between a quarter and a half cup of uh, linseed, that's flaxseed, sesame seeds, white or black, don't care, um, sunflower kernels, and pumpkin seeds. That's our particular mix that we like, and that goes in there with a spoonful of salt, good heat spoonful. Alright, now we have to add 100 ml of water and stir it up a bit. And now we will annoy everybody who doesn't like buzzing noises in the background because this is going to have to go in the microwave for two whole minutes. Sorry about that. Alright, not two minutes. We'll do it for uh, a minute and a half. Okay, so let us carry on. We've got some instant yeast in there. We need some rye flour, which I forgot to put out. Um, here we go, rye flour. Now, rye flour is not known for being beautifully uh, ketogenic, i.e. low carb. However, a mere 25 grams of rye flour makes this thing rise like a charm. And when you divide that up by per slice, it's um, really not as significant as one might think. There we go, 25 grams of it. Lovely. I have remembered to put a bread maker blade in the bread maker right to step. Alright, uh, what else we got in the ingredients today? We want wheat gluten. Now, um, wheat gluten is the stuff that makes bread work and uh, it doesn't have the carbohydrate in it. So we're going to put in 135 uh, grams of wheat gluten here and I'm doing some sums so that I know how much I've got to add on the scale. So I'm going to put that 161. Uh, oh, that was quick. It's about 160, brilliant. And um, we want some, uh, some olive oil, uh, our good uh, homemade olive oil, of course. Um, so about 30 grams worth in there. What are we up to? About 190 grams, something like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not rocket surgery. Okay, and we want about 40 grams of oat fiber. You can use wheat bran or any of your favorite fibers. Uh, oat fibre has solid all carbohydrates in it, so um, very useful for that. So we'll be going up to about 230-ish somewhere. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Yeah. All right. So uh, now, start of the show, malt. Now we're using that brand. Malt is um, not exactly what you would consider to be ketogenic because it's full of sugar. However, it's also full of flavour and the yeast is going to eat most of the sugar when it does the bread rise. And uh, so we stick a couple of, God, this is messy stuff. Man. So we'll stick a couple of teaspoons in there um, whilst making uh, as little mess as possible, which is not saying much when you're handling the sticky malt. All right, yeah, so that's, that's in my estimation, that's a couple of teaspoons of, uh, of good sticky malt. Now this stuff, uh, like I say, will be eaten up by the yeast, so it will still be a relatively low carb um, thing to eat. Of course, this is as long as you don't mm, your finger and the spoon, in which case you just blow carbohydrate budget for the day. 
Anyway, that's that. We also want um, half a teaspoon of lecithin in there to make sure it all emulsifies together nicely. The egg we're going to add next will probably do the job, but you know, just to make sure. We'll chuck that in and put that in the sink. Alright, okay, and now we want to add 70 ml, 170 ml of water. Uh, normally I just like measure this. Uh, that's one mill of water is one gram, uh, but uh, we uh, also use it to uh, empty the uh, last of the egg out of the bowl. And now the stuff we put in the microwave over there, the um, porridge uh, being scalding hot goes on the top and uh, the yeast is on the bottom. That's the only order that really matters despite what people tell you, you will not kill the yeast by putting it with the salt, a load of cod swallop. And there we go. That's all the stuff in. We've got cold water on the top as well, so the yeast isn't in much danger of being boiled. And now we stick it in our bread maker for a mm, large, well, medium loaf for our bread maker, because we've got a huge bread maker. But it's about an 800 gram loaf, whatever you uh, set your bread maker for when you do that. Um, and the wholemeal setting. Alright, time for dog to be useful. I've forgotten the chicken bucket. Get it. Go on, get it. Good boy. There he goes. Isn't he a good boy? Let's hope he doesn't run, run into something. I can't see where he's going. Up here, Rock. Up here, dog. Come on. There's a good boy. In we go. Good boy. Here we are doing one of those unboxing videos, five hours later. Mmm, really nice. Now the fun part with these is always getting them out because they're a bit more sticky than a conventional loaf. And if you splat them straight out, they um, flat on the top. All right, and there it is. My word, good enough to eat. And believe me, it'll taste as good as it looks. Hmm, dog has something to say.